What's going on YouTube? Bryce Crispy Night 4 here bringing you another miniature painting video and this time we have the community voted miniature. That is right, we have a couple of GIF cannoneers here. Uh, these models are from Gloomy Kid Miniatures over on my mini factory. Link is in the down there. Go check them out. Uh, awesome miniatures, awesome GIF or Hippokin as they call them. Uh, but yeah, I love them. They got the big old cannons cannonballs the cool glasses this guy's got his cigar in his mouth yeah awesome kind of steampunk aesthetic uh minis and i like gifs or gifs depending on what side you're on i am team gif uh if you're team gif you're wrong but i respect your opinion <laughs> um anyway uh the community vote uh was tied on youtube but thanks to the discord vote the gif beat out the fire elemental by one vote so Make sure you're voting in both places if you're part of both communities. Um, and maybe that won't happen next time if you really want to see something get painted. Uh, but we are going to do a similar format to the White Dragon video, but a little dialed back. I'm not going to keep jumping in and out. Uh, probably just do some voiceovers explaining the steps. Um, so for our first step, since I'm already here, might as well explain it. Uh, we're just going to do our skin base coat. And I'm going to take pixie dust pink and orc skin and kind of make this grayish pink color. And I'm going to base all the skin in that. Uh, and you'll see why as the video goes. But if you've ever looked at an actual hippo, they kind of have this grayish purple skin. But then on the unders parts of their jaw and bellies, it's a it's a lighter, almost pink color. So that's what I'm going to do here. So let me shut up and let's get to paint. All right, now that we got two coats of the pixie dust pink and orc skin mixture, which was two, two, two drops of each, uh, we're going to move on to the pants, which we're going to do in Army Painter's Castle Gray. Let me get that shaken up. Couple blotches here. Grab my trusty paintbrush and we'll go to town. All right, for steps three and four, we're going to combine them. Uh, step three, we'll be using the Brain Matter Beige from Army Painter, and that will be doing the tank top here. If I can actually get some on my paintbrush to paint. 
Uh, and then with Reaper's Shield Brown right here, we'll be doing the boots, the cuffs of the boots, but not the straps, as well as his belt and this little guy. But again, not the straps. Right, guys for this next step we're going to be painting the cannon the goggles on our belt buckle in army painters rough iron
for this next step, we're going to add the underdark gray to our hip. Um, it's almost like a glaze. Like I have a very, very watered down underdark gray here. I'm just going to kind of, it's basically a glaze. So we're just going to kind of glaze it, help build the layers up. For that gray color, because we want that purple to shine through, especially on like the fingertips and around the snout of the hippo and probably the chest and underarms. Like if you guys have ever seen an actual hippo, their skin, as it gets down to like their underbillies, gets that purplish color. That's why we did that. And then the rest of them is the gray color. So we're just going to keep building up this glaze until we get the desired gray that we want. For this next segment, we're going to be doing all the smaller details. So we're going to be using Army Painter's Night Scales to do our cannonballs. We have Reaper's Driftwood Brown, and that's going to be our straps and the tops of the boots, as well as the uh, buckles, or not buckles, the belt loops on the belt, and then the strap around the goggles. And then we're going to take gun metal, and we're just going to hit the uh, buckles on the boots with that. I believe that oh and then I have matte black for the innards on the goggles but as you can see the uh, glaze dried so well and I am super happy with how the hippo skin turned out so I will do my best to not get any driftwood brown on it
for our final step, we're going to be adding some washes. We're going to do a mid brown army painter wash on the boots, the belt, that. Oh, sorry. No, we're going to be doing a normal brown wash on that. The mid brown is going to be on the rope and the um, tank top. So our. What is it called? Brown wash or. Strong tone is going to be on the grays. Uh, and then we do have Army Painters D&D Shadow Wash that I'll be doing on the pants and the gun. So, let's get to it. We are back. The GIF cannoneers are done. But before I reveal the finished product, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button to let me know you like the video. Leave a comment and subscribe if you're not already. So now the hippo reveal or GIF reveal or GIF reveal. Um, I love them. Ooh, let me turn my light on here. Uh, they turned out fantastic. Here's the one that you guys saw in the speed up. Uh, mostly, I still just so happy with how that hippo skin turned out um I like their dirty shirts their pants i went ahead and added just some brown battlefield just to give the base some sort of character that's a rock up there uh that comes right off then here is the other gif um that i did not show in the paint videos but he was chilling in the background the whole time uh he's got his nice little cigar sitting there um Probably could have done a little more with the cigar. I thought about maybe adding like a red ring and then like a little bit of gray kind of deal. So it looks kind of like he's smoking and I may go back and do that. Um, I just kind of was running a little short on time, uh, which brings me to my announcement. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull the face cam up here. This is part is not about the minis, but it is. So this is the last of the uh two videos a week um i'm going to drop down to one video a week just because it's a lot of time that i spend uh behind the computer and painting miniatures and uh, doing four miniatures a month is a lot and i've kind of feel like i've plateaued so this month i've really been taking my time uh which is why i'm a little behind on my miniature projects uh according to schedule um, so I've decided to adjust that schedule uh, because I like taking my time on them and not worrying about getting this one done so I can have a video on this Wednesday and so and so. Um, and that's what I really did with these hippos. And I mean, these are some of the best things I've painted to date, in my opinion. Uh, but I gave a little extra love and care. Um, and like I said, I, I felt like I had plateaued. So giving this extra time, I feel like now I'm, I'm rising up that plateau. 
it's no longer a plateau it's a mountain that i'm climbing back up so and and that's what i want so i am going to be doing a icons of the realms opening this week miniature painting you know that kind of deal icons miniature painting icons miniature painting uh and that will continue until i am done with the icons that i have currently and then i may phase them out or they will just be like whole new sets at a time i haven't really decided uh but i'll definitely for the foreseeable future be doing two miniature painting videos a month um on wednesdays uh just to keep that is i don't know like wednesday middle of the week 2 p.m eastern video goes up uh so just wanted to say that real quick okay let's go back to these um, I mean, I talked about pretty much all I wanted to talk about with them, but I'll show them both off one last time before I get out of here. Hope you guys did enjoy this. Um, these are clinch art miniatures. Link is down there. Go check them out. Uh, they have a lot of really cool things other than just these hippos. I think I got some cannons from them and some other props. Uh, but yeah, peace.